primary election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Now is the time to make a plan. Whether you plan to vote absentee by mail, in person at your county auditor's office before election day, or at your polling place on June 4th, it's important you take steps now to make your plan at voterready.iowa.gov. Remember, election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Find more info at voterready.iowa.gov. This message is presented by the Iowa Secretary of State. Hey guys, welcome back to the Potted Together podcast. I'm Nicole and I'm joined by my lovely co-host, Adam and Paco. Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Guys, okay, we're going to be going down memory lane. We're going to give you a little bit of nostalgia vibes with Jeez, today's Becca, episodes. You filled up that hump? Damn. <laughs> Becca's, <laughs> Becca's off on the sidelines chugging her Stanley right now. I wish the microphone <laughs> would pick it up because we can hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we were together and I was drinking my water and you were like, you like turned to me and I was like, oh shit, I didn't realize that I was doing that. <laughs> we all have misophonia until it's our own asses making the nasty noises. <laughs> oh my gosh. Had, da- had Daniel drank like that, you'd have been like, shut the f- up. <laughs> what the fuck are you, th- what you doing? You should know. Uh, no, it's not that. Uh, sorry, Nicole. So sorry. I did not mean to hijack your intro. No, that's okay. That was that was a moment that needed to be shared. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be we're gonna be talking about our plant collections as they were versus as they are now. But first, you know, we always like to do a little catch up. So, Adam, you're going on a little trip this week. I am. Uh... Where are you going? I'm going to Orlando, Florida. It's, it's one, one hell, hell of a drug. Is this the trip with your friends? Yeah. <laughs> For a birthday. Yeah, my friend Zach's turning forty. Zach, that's his name. And yes, he's so okay. happy birthday, Zach. Me, Steve, and Zach. Zach is a f- he's he doesn't listen to this. Even though I told him, I was like, hey, the first half oh, hour is just back. about life. And I've talked about him on the podcast before. Whatever. Mm. he's not a narcissist um (laughs) he doesn't want to hear about himself but he yeah he's turning 40 so me steve and him are flying there and then our friend chrissy from illinois is meeting us there and it's just gonna be the girls and the gays having a blast in florida we're going to epcot one day Uh um and then three days in universal studios for Mm. all the harry potter goodness Mm -hmm. oh fun That'll be a grand old time. So I got to pack my wand. Avada <gasps> Don't say that. <laughs> How could you say that? Not my daughter. You, Becca, did you see my TikTok about the not my daughter? No. Oh my god. You gosh. made a TikTok? I did. And to be honest, I thought I was going to get a lot more traction than it did. It was a, I'm going to send it to you right now. Okay. I didn't understand. But you didn't understand, and I know that. Because I liked it, but I still didn't understand. It was a Harry Potter one uh, and a Taylor Swift. So it was a very niche. It's like a S- Swifties Potter heads TikTok that I truly thought was going to be like, as I was making it, I was like giggling to myself. I'm like, I'm so smart. <laughs> like, this is the best. Anyway. <laughs> Nobody gave Uh, a shit about it. Oh, I liked it. (laughs) (laughs) Like was watching it. That's good, Adam. Everybody go to Adam's TikTok and watch it. This didn't even come up on my For You page. Usually your stuff comes up on my For You page. Also, everything that Nicole reposts comes up on my For You page. So (laughs) I see all of your guys' activity on tiktok I love that so I love the it. algorithm was suppressing your your video i know Adams. it's probably yeah i don't know why because i normally see all your shit huh um but yeah we're going to harry potter you know what i just i think i need to just put this out there fuck jk rowling but mm. she already got her coin from that shit and i'm gonna appreciate it i need to hear heal, heal the inner child while she can fuck mm. right off yeah with, she with fuck that right turf. there's some new there's some new press right 
that came out she was in she was in headlines last week about something oh I didn't give she attention. was talking she's always turfing it up yeah, yeah she was talking about how she was disappointed in in the kids and i'm like if this does not if this is not like gen x coded parenting mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. maybe not gen x is it what's the one before that Anyway, basically being like, I'm disappointed in my kids. It's like, oh, your kids grew up to be people who care and have empathy. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's Maybe it's that. weird. Yeah. So I, I think that the the Potter kids went no contact with her ass. Mm. Okay. Good. Anyway, nothing's going to take away my feelings for Neville <laughs> and, and that glow up. Neville. Ugh. How long are you staying out there? A week? Ish. Wednesday, we fly out tomorrow, Wednesday, and we get back Monday. So we'll spend four full days in Florida. Okay. Yeah. So I'm excited. That's fun. It's real hot out there. Mama's coming home today. As yeah. we record this, she's flying home from Florida. I was packing last night, and then I was like, Steve looked at the. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Listen, the I girl pump, is hydrated. I is just did the first my day? first pump of the day and I got two ounces. So I'm like, fuck, <laughs> water. Like, my kid's not going to eat tomorrow. Like, I'm stressing right now. We have a hard cutoff and she's going to have to pee like eight times. I was going to say, though, every time, every time you're drinking, it's like with intention of like, <laughs> like your eyes are just like stressed. And I'm like, now I get it. Now it makes sense. I will not comment. <laughs> No, no, it's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but also, how is this family not run out of water by now? <laughs> pretty full. This bitch is full. Wouldn't it be funny and- if it was just a topper to like a five gallon jug and that looked like a Stanley? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I need. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry. We have to give the people a video option because oh. this is too funny. Guys, I have I have been thinking more about this video option. Now the thing that stresses me about it is like having having the time and capacity to like put out more content like that. But I've seen some people who do video podcasts. You know, we all kind of just look busted and crusted. Becca's in a yeah. robe. Nicole's <laughs> always in a t shirt. And I am like okay. still in pajamas. But mm-hmm. I've seen people I've seen people film like that, and I, I think it's still kind of funny. It's yeah. like yeah. I don't care what the background looks like. We got the we got the personality. I mean, 100%. I think we should for sure do it over on Patreon. Patreon, but like, ugh, I want to give everybody the content. You know, I don't know. We we can trial it on Patreon. How about that? Yeah, because yeah. there's no commitment. Like, if if it's only once a month. Like the BYC, we don't have to do a video, but if we do the once a month yeah. for the video, I don't know, because I do want to give some love to our ketchup and mustard tier. I feel like we always talk about BYC, but ketchup and mustard is where it all started. The OGs, yeah. So we mm-hmm. could give them a video, and then the, once a month we can trial it and see if we, you know what I mean, see if it's yeah. even yeah. plausible. But I feel like editing it really wouldn't be that hard because... We could do the thing where we switch between screens or we could just put three boxes on the on the screen. Easy, you know? Yeah. And also the, like the three we can, boxes would be easy. If you have if you have the scene out, that's You don't want to agree with Okay, that. Adam, you're not allowed to edit it. <laughs> yeah. Because you're gonna go yeah. off the rails. <laughs> I will this do is it. Simplicity. <laughs> because you can stack all three clips in Premiere Pro and then you can go to the camera switcher and then like when when you're listening to it and like Becca starts talking, I could hit two and it'll flip to Becca. And then mm. Nicole starts talking, really? you can hit one and it'll flip to Nicole. Well, actually, when I edit, I stack them in alphabetical order. So Adam's top track, Becca's middle track, Nicole's bottom. So do I. But also I don't like that idea because nine times out of 10, the funny shit is happening with the people that are not speaking at the moment. Well, and then you can hit like four for the three view. Listen. Oh. Yeah. These are, these are things. Okay. Here I am yeah. doing it manually every single time. Well, you know screens. what? This is your fault for not ever asking. Yeah, <laughs> it is my fault. I'm actually editing a video of me and Maria and I was like manually changing the screens and doing all of that. It took forever. Okay, yeah, just well. just give it a googs. Give it, give a, it googs. a googs. Okay, Anyhow. but not that anybody cares about all the behind the yeah. scenes shit. So oh. sorry, <laughs> but we're considering it. Let us know if you would like video podcast. We we'll trial it for Patreon and see how we feel. 
Um, it would just be adding, you know, more more time. But yeah, you guys are worth it. Yeah. Yeah. Hashtag worth it. Um, but back to me in my ketchup. Yeah. Yeah. Back to you. Really, I don't have anything. I am gua shying pretty <laughs> regularly now. So your what? I feel pretty snatched. I got to be honest. Can you do that with your beard? Does that not hurt? Well, remember, I I brought that up in a episode. I think it was a Patreon over our break in Logan. Plant Talk with Logan says I gua. He immediately messaged me. and was like, I gua sha with my beard. And I was like, OK, well, if Logan does it, I'll do it. I mean, my beard <laughs> hides my weak jawline. So that's already a plus. Mm. I don't even care. Yeah. But getting the fluid out of my cheeks, my head. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. A gua sha. Huh? I love a gua sha. I just got a stainless yeah. steel one because the jade one I bought from Target snapped when I was pushing it on my face. That's wild. I was like, a we jade need one gua sha for man. Cheekbones who? Yeah. What? Keep it in the fr- keep it in the fridge. Feels great in the morning. <laughs> it's, they rename it bra sha instead of gua sha. I'm like, I'm like picturing like man's gua sha Carhartt. Like, you know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. made out of like tungsten steel. <laughs> it's, it's, just, it's just like everything that's like targeted to toxic, toxic masculinity, like dude wipes. Like, yeah, like can't you just call it a flushable wipe? Like, no, nah, it's bro wipes. It's bro wipes. <laughs> Squash. Bar. When your bro takes care of your fucker spot. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> This is not Patreon. <laughs> Jesus. I'm sorry. My cough is so bad today. Like, I sound horrible. Yeah. yeah. That was There's something in there. <laughs> Those Mucinex guys. Those Mucinex guys. Still. <laughs> They're like, they're having a la, fucking la, 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 la. <laughs> I think the next generation, uh, I think there was a, some sort of like quinceanera or something happening. Ex- yeah. <laughs> Literally, they are celebrating their 15, 15 years, uh, 15 months in my chest. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So you've been gua sha I do a little bit of a DIY gua sha just with my fingers, like on my neckline right here. I just kind of do that when I'm moisturizing. I just do a little chew down the neck. It feels really good. Do you yeah. open up your lymphatic nodes underneath your armpits first? No. Well, yeah, that's a thing. You got to open them. I did them. not know that. Yeah. Got to open kinda them up. It kind of tickles. Everybody tickles. needs a little pre-play before you get down to action, Becca. <laughs> I'm sorry. So you got to... Uh, as I'm like I sticking... I don't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm sticking my arm, my hands in my armpits like Mary Gallagher. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Uh, very cool. Nicole? What's uh, new? <laughs> not much. Nicole's leading the episode. Back the fuck off. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. So, respectfully. Respectfully. I'm keeping the flow. Okay. So I just finished season two of Killing Eve and my mind is quite literally blown. And I don't know how they're going to come back from the season. And there's five seasons. So it's really good. If you haven't watched it. If you're looking for something to watch, Killing Eve on Netflix, do it. Mm. You're welcome. Um, but that's about all that's going on in my life right now. Oh. I have zero happening. There's this really cool show that I think you would love, Nicole, brand new uh-huh. to you, what? called called The Jetsons. The Jetsons. I was I was just trying to make a joke about how late you are to trends because Killing Eve was oh. like, sorry, it really didn't work. <laughs> Respectfully, <laughs> I was. <laughs> I didn't get it. I was like, I know who the Jetsons right the head. are. I'm That's like, okay. hey, the Jetsons. I've never heard of this show. <laughs> oh, I love the Jetsons. Uh, yeah. So that's it. Who Very is uh, Sandra O? Oh, your favorite part of that? Yeah, I love Sandra O, oh, but I also like Jamie Comer. Com- Comer, mm-hmm. Comer, Comer. She's fantastic. She's such a good actress. Like. Wow. Wow. She could do so many different accents. She's done a European accent. She's done a Russian accent. She's done an American accent. Like she's going in on these accents and I'm like this mm-hmm. is this is uh theater 101. Yeah. You know some it's very interesting seeing like British actors do American accents because 
Sometimes yeah. it's completely undetectable and sometimes you're like, Ugh. you just yeah. hear them say certain words and you're like, I know, like Brianna in Outlander. Yes. Her American accent is so painful to listen to. <laughs> Just because, like, certain words, I'm like, that just sounds weird. Like, I almost wish they gave her a British accent because her parents had British accents. So it's like, okay. Yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. I don't know. To me, her accent has always bothered me. But Mm. honestly, all the power to her. I can't. She's in this huge show and she's doing it. But at the same time, her accent is just, there's just something about it. Oh, speaking of Outlander, they just released season six on Netflix. So if you don't want to get stars and you stopped at season five because Netflix, for some reason, just decided to not air season six and six, season seven. Yeah, they're a little bit behind. I think it's probably a licensing thing because stars probably. puts it out. Right. Mm-hmm, so I, I bet mm-hmm. it's just they're a little behind. Yeah. But that season six just uh, landed on Netflix. I saw it on there and I was like, <gasps> I thought it was season 7B, and I got very excited. No, that's not until fucking November. It's bullshit. (sighs) I'm annoyed. Okay, but we have have talked about that. We don't need to be Yeah, we don't need to ponder. We don't need to ponder. Mm -hmm. Um, Becca, what's going on in your life? Except for those dry boobs. (laughs) Except for the dried (laughs) up titties. And the bronchitis Um, and the dry ass throat. (laughs) And the fucking bronchitis. (laughs) Yeah. Okay. So I've been on antibiotics for like six days now. And I've also been taking mucinex twice a day. Mm. I am still coughing like crazy. Um, And you know what the craziest thing is? Nora sleeps next to me. She does not wake up when I'm coughing. I have no fucking clue how. I'm like... (laughs) (laughs) I can see my audio peaking. Sorry. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> um, my audio has peaked a few times. I must be like screaming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the noise canceling off on my headphones because <laughs> I honestly have a feeling I've been like screaming this whole time. That's okay. okay. Anyway. That's what a compressor's for. We got you. We got you. You guys got Speaking it. Speaking of when people um, message me and like, I'm listening to the podcast from the beginning, and I always just say, I'm so sorry for the audio quality. Oh, because like we've learned, guys, we've learned. Oh, yeah. But if but you like, if you went back to episode one of our podcast, if you guys did right now, you'd be like, painful. Oh. yeah, very. Yeah. But it was, didn't, didn't last compress. very long. Mm-mm. It didn't last for a long time. No, there was I, somebody who messaged us pretty early on. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She's local here. And she was like, but she made a comment. She was like, please fix the audio. And that was what sent me down the rabbit hole of like figuring out how to do that. So uh, nah. I appreciate the constructive criticism. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for sure. It's always for helpful. Sure. You guys are always really nice. If there's like some like a weird ad, for example, I do want to acknowledge that we've had some, yeah, gun related ads, and they're very sneaky with how they categorize themselves. Mm-hmm. So we have reached out to our <clears throat> distributor, and we're like, hey, what the heck? So they gave us some more guidance on how to avoid that. So sorry if you hear something like that. We're working on it. But please let yeah, us know. And yeah, but let us know if you hear like an a gun related or a political ad or like a weight loss ad or just body anything. modification yeah like all of the not yeah. religious ad no i yeah. think that some i think that some audience they don't know how the ad system works and some people might think that we're taking sponsorships from these companies and that's absolutely not what we're doing we just work with a hosting platform that pretty much inserts ads into our commercial quote unquote clips yeah. so like yeah we're not working with them and we don't yeah. want to Ever. Unless it's us like talking, mm-hmm. that is a situation where we've like negotiated and we're like, yeah, we want to do an ad with you. But otherwise, if it's just an ad that's placed, we just said, yeah, you can put these ads on our podcast. And yeah, we blocked off certain categories and we just kind of, you know, hope yeah. that nothing weird is going to get through. But um, anyway, back to me. But also, <laughs> hold on. Um, when you download the episode, that's when the ads are placed. So if you have episodes downloaded from us from like months ago, they could oh, possibly yeah. have that ad in them still. It's so yeah. it's a, it's dynamic insertion, but it happens when the episode is downloaded. Yeah. So okay. There. That's good to know. Yep. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. So sorry about that. If you heard anything and thank you for emailing us if you did. Yes. Or DMing. What were we even talking about? You. We're talking about you. Oh, what I've been up to. Okay. Yeah. So I've been doing all that. I do feel like my cough is a little bit more productive. So that's good. 
but <laughs> just generally it's just like gosh how long is this gonna last you know it's been almost five weeks of this yeah. which is just not fun but um i was in the greenhouse yesterday working mm. my little ass off yes. and it's we're past the point of needing to install the heater now so i'm like okay cool so let's just start <laughs> using the <grid. laughs> it's yeah. just so this is so uh, fucking annoying. Like, I'm just as annoyed with myself as you guys are probably annoyed with me. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to move on from the heater because that was, like, stopping me up. And now we're just kind of, like, uh, decorating. Like, yes. putting up things. Like, making it ready for plants and stuff, which is really fun. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's so fucking hot in there. So is I can it? really only work on it, like, in the mornings and in the evenings, which is fine because it's hot. So I just need to put up my shade cloth and I think that'll help. And then, you know, when the fans are running, it's much cooler. But yeah, yeah it's, it's a greenhouse. So it's obviously going to be warm in there. That's the point. Yeah. But I just got to figure out. And you have out. the fans. You have the fans. So we're good yeah. there. I have my fans. I have it set to be like 85 degrees in there, which honestly is... I mean, ideal. I feel like some people think that's a bit warm, but I'm from Arizona, so it's not that bad <laughs> for me. But yeah, 85 with a breeze is actually kind of nice with the fans. But that's what I've been working on. And also just like getting the garden ready. I mm-hmm. have my starts. We got sent some starts from Bonnie. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be putting those in. And then I got some more. So yeah, the garden's happening this year. And I, I got cones to put over my plants oh. so that oh. the deer they don't get eaten yeah yeah or it's the rabbits deer. they get in it's underneath rabbits. my fence yeah which is so annoying it's like at the gate part because you you can't have the gate touching the ground or else you can't open it so yeah. i have an opening but i covered it in chicken wire but they've like bent it so it's just a whole annoying thing and wascally anyway, rabbits i know they love Freaking, those carrots. They love them. So hopefully, even if they do get in, these cones will block them. Because once the plants get to a certain size, they don't eat them anymore. It's just when they're like those little seedlings and they taste so good, I'm sure. Mm. You know what I saw? I saw a TikTok and I would have never thought of this, but I saw someone getting their garden bed ready and planting beds, like little small beds on the outside of their garden for the animals to like feed off of so that they don't bother mm. the stuff on the inside. Like little pots. Like and a I'm sacrificial like, plant. Yeah. 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 I see that a lot in gardening actually. Like you'll put a sacrificial plant for the insects. Yeah. Like you'll yes. put kale in all yep. of your beds and then all the aphids will go to the kale and not everything else. See? Smart. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yep, 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 yep. You got to work with them. Yep. But yeah, so this year I really am dedicated to making the garden happen. Hopefully it will be successful, but we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. I don't have irrigation out there, so I just kind of hope that it's a rainy summer. And if not, well, I don't know how well it's going to go. So I do want to address one thing that's happening in your garden, and that is mm-hmm. a cicada was was spotted a cicada oh, was sorry i had a Missouri. hard eye roll there <laughs> yeah okay fine we've spoke about the cicadas before we won't need to go into detail again but missouri's got them and yeah. they're coming this way to nicole sending here. nicole sending tiktoks and she's like this is missouri <laughs> Take it's cover. Only six and a half hours <laughs> they're me. pissing it's on like a everything storm watcher but it's <laughs> yeah. cicada watcher yeah um, yeah i did find a cicada skeleton on my the side of my greenhouse and i was like mm-hmm. Ugh, disgusting yeah. um <laughs> but that's the only one i've seen i haven't seen any others oh those we'll little see. stinkers do you hear them yet no oh well no okay that's a good thing speaking of a storm chasing last week uh, it was like Thursday because I know I was recording Let's Talk Hoya, so I know it was Thursday. And Steve was watching like live storm chasers on YouTube because there was like storms in like Iowa, yes. Missouri, yada yada yada. And so I he's in the, like watching these people live, like they're doing live streams of this guy in a car. And you see this tornado that's like hovering behind this house. Well, the tornado leveled the house, and then all of a sudden, people like emerge from the rubble. <gasps> this husband and wife and two kids, and he's like carrying the kid. <gasps> And, oh. and Steve, I was like, I don't want to watch this because I don't know what condition they're in because it was live. I think oh that they God. all survived, but the kids were like, b- like head injuries, bleeding, like bleeding. 
Oh um, my God. And I'm like, so thankful that guy was there at the time because they were, they were like in the middle of nowhere. And then when oh he gosh. get, he got them in his car, took off for the hospital. They're trying to call people and then none of the phones are working the whole way there. Mm-hmm. And she's like yelling at her kids, like, stay awake, stay awake, stay awake. <gasps> it was frantic. That's traumatic. And I saw, I've seen the clips on TikTok a few times, but anyway, wild. He was like shocked that he was watching it live. And I was like, that's insane. And I'm so glad oh, that yeah. they got out and were, I mean, they were hurt, but I don't think that they had it like life threatening injuries. So I'm grateful for that. But like wild tornadoes scare the shit out of me. And there's reasons. Yeah. I hate it. Okay. So your mom, your mom was an EMT, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and you guys lived in Nebraska. So yeah. has she ever like had to go into a crazy situation like that? Like tornado just touched down no like not a mass kind of not a mass um damage type situation like that no oh good that's so scary they are so scary Mm. i don't get it i don't understand them and that's why they freak me out okay should we get into the topic of today's episode yeah all right Primary Election Day is Tuesday, June 4th. Now is the time to make a plan. Whether you plan to vote absentee by mail, in person at your county auditor's office before Election Day, or at your polling place on June 4th, it's important you take steps now to make your plan at voterready.iowa.gov. Remember, Election Day is Tuesday, June 4th. Find more info at voterready.iowa.gov. This message is presented by the Iowa Secretary of State. So let's take a little stroll down memory lane. You like how I gave myself a break there? <laughs> You're like a radio host. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're back. And we're back. Okay, I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about my collection because I was scrolling through photos trying to find a photo for our, our video, rather, for our Monday's post. And of course, it took me back to like all of my old plant videos and like, you know how you just end up in a camera reel from years ago well that was Mm -hmm. me on monday and i had so many freaking plants you guys like i think about that now and how that would look like taking care of over 200 plants and i could not do that now and i feel like i had more time back then Mm -hmm. (laughs) or i have more time now rather but i still can't do it like i still wouldn't be able to do it but um, yeah. I had so many more cactus and I feel like I just want to kind of build up my cactus collection a little bit more. Like, continue, like I said this before, but I want to like continue to get some more new cactus because I have this tiny little collection now and I had like a whole bench full of them. Do you remember that? I do. Mm-hmm. Oh, I there is a cactus bench. that I have been wanting for so long. I'm going oh, to try to find yeah. it. Did you tell us? Did you tell us about this? Oh, I think you told us about this before. The Myrtle Cactus Geometricus. Oh, it's, like, it's a little, it's a little balls. Oh no, that's not it. Oh. There's like, there's a cactus that's like little tiny balls, and they I have it. I think so cute. It is really cute. They're kind of well, they were kind of expensive. But do you remember when we went to Plants for the Southwest? That mm-hmm. place where there was a guy named Mike who worked there. A kitty. There was like a little kitty cat there. Tephro cactus geometricus. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Mm. I I went there specifically to find that plant and I still have it. It's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, Becca. Cutting. Can you put your balls on my hand? I could. I'll send you. I'll send you a ball. <laughs> I can ball. if you want, actually, because it has made like two balls. If. Okay, but somebody... And you, if you you can and you want to, I would take it, but don't feel like you need to go out there and chop it. Yeah, I don't care. It'll grow another one. That's fine. (laughs) Um, It looks like a plant from Harry Potter. Yeah. Like there's this plant that Neville carries around, and it literally looks like the Tephrocactus geometricans. Yeah. It's cool as shit. Okay, but I have to go to the bathroom. You guys chit chat. All right. (laughs) Ah. Um, Adam, your water. collection. Yep. 
And I wish it was water. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, water makes other things move too. So that was expected. Um, so you have a, a good chunk, like what would you say 90% of your collection now is Hoya? Oh, yeah. Probably like 95. 95%. Yeah, yeah, I think. Remember when you had all those aeroids? Oh my gosh, I do. And I got to be honest, I did love them. I do love them. Uh, yeah. It's just... I don't know. They just weren't my thing. Yeah. They're a little bit more needy, but they are needy. Woof. Um, before Aeroids, I was like a big time Peperomia boy. Yes. You had a lot of Peperomia. Yeah. And I would bottom, bottom water those all the time. Cause I had everything in soil and Peperomias. They just felt like they liked being bottom watered, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I just got a Peperomia Incana. Have yeah. Yeah. Yes, the fuzzy it's, one. Yes, well, Brie had it, and I was gonna take a cutting, and she's like, "Just take the whole plant," and it's massive, but the stems are super woody. I love it. Yeah, they turn pretty woody. I, you know what? I think I need to give Peperomia another. I loved Peperomia. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I let them go a little too dry, as one does. But I was also in like a, I don't know. As we move through our journey. With plants, I feel like we, it's like work smarter, not harder kind of thing. And we like figure out these methods and these ways that we can care for our plants and decrease stress about caring for our plants. Mm -hmm. And so now Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm in a different spot with my care routine and I'm trying some plants that I used to have that didn't do so well. Hoya linearis, one of Mm -hmm. them, um, Pilea peperomioides, which is just a freaking stunner. Mine Yours is. is so pretty. It looks amazing. Do I you keep rotate talking it? about it. I do. Yeah, like every mm-hmm. other day, I'm you like, can tell. Hmm? if yeah. if I see the top leaves kind of tilting, I just <laughs> twist. Yeah. Um, and I know I've talked about that one a lot, but it's just like these things that I didn't do so well the first few times, and now it's like I've learned, and I want to try it again, and it's really fun and rewarding. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about Peperomia being in Lekka? Is I don't Peperomia I don't think Lekka, you... but Pond, yes, because that's what my Pilea is in. Okay. And it is loving it, but I am a little nervous because it's... I didn't realize how thirsty Pilea were, but mm-hmm. I have to re-up that cash pro at least like every other day. Mm-hmm. Really? Like, I think I need to find a deeper well that mm-hmm. it can go into. Interesting. Well, the roots are so itty bitty and like delicate. I have one rooting in water right now and I'm looking at those roots and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, they are tiny. Super delicate. I have a Peperomia parallel um, in water rooting and yeah, I'm like, oh, because I'm like, what should I put this in? Maybe just just leave it there. I I have an elbow cutting in water Mm -hmm. only. It's in a cup. It's in a glass cup. And it's now mm-hmm. like 10 leaves. Yeah, wow. that's one of the most beautiful albos I've ever seen. And it's and so it's pretty. Water. It's like stack, stack, stacked leaves. And they're small because, I mean, it's just in water. But it's like really cute. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, but I heard somebody say that there's like the albo. Remember when there was this albo monstera borsigiana or something like that? Mm-hmm. And yeah. the leaves are just smaller? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think maybe you have one of those, but then they are, there were then people were saying like, "Oh no, that doesn't exist actually." And I was like, "Okay, well then, how do you explain these little leaves?" Because yeah. mine really? never got they big said... leaves either. Oh, so they were trying to say that that wasn't. Yeah, there was some lore, and I don't remember what it is. Sorry, not an informative plant podcast, but there was something <laughs> that I saw that was like, "Oh yeah, that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it's just an elbow." I'm like, "Okay, mm. so how do you explain?" Some of them having huge leaves and some of them having small leaves, no matter what you do. I don't know. Yeah. Somebody yeah. who's like smarter and into the lore, please let me know. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody smarter know. educated. Somebody who cares. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna yeah. defile my intelligence. Let's just say somebody who cares. Because I don't yeah. I don't care that much to like figure that out, but <laughs> Yeah. Uh anyway. So and also, sorry, I saw big box stores. They're selling plants in water now. It's like that that water. Mm-hmm. I, I saw that like too. Like Calathea. And they're Lowe's. pretty cute, actually. Yeah. But algae galore, I'm certain. Yeah. 
Yeah. Those clear well, containers. What I've realized is you just need to change out the water pretty often and plants can be happy in water for a long time. Yeah. And I plus yeah. I give them nutrients like I do semi hydro. I just put it in there. Yeah. yeah. Same. Well, like then that plant can live in water forever then because yeah. the soil is just the nutrients. So if you're mm-hmm. giving it nutrients, it could literally, you know what I mean? Like it could just forever, forever. live in that water. Forever. Do we think that like it depends on the plant, the amount of algae that the container gets? Because I have a pothos in like a big uh, terrarium like container. Okay. And I've swapped the water out once, but I top it off. Like I'm giving it new water like every couple of weeks because it drinks it up. But then I have a cutting of my syndapsis in another clear glass vessel very close to it and it's filled with green algae the pothos very minimal like not a lot at all like probably no green algae just a little bit of like scum ish Mm. so like what's the difference they're both in the same light that is weird about the lighting that is weird yeah i'm it's so weird to me i never get algae in my water props you don't never Mm. I always get algae and shit. I, I wonder if in, it's your water. I'm using the oh. same filtered water and I use like pure filtered water. Mm, I don't know. Because we got we got the pure attachment for the sink downstairs. I'm giving these plants the most. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. The most. Nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, I even get them in my cash pose for my Lekka plants and they're not clear vessels. They're like the the white a little light gets in but not yeah ton. yeah same yeah no clue but this isn't Crazy. what this fucking episode is about yeah i know it's not well becca did you have okay. to sneeze no i i was looking to see if my skylight oh. covers are are open because i see like a anyway <laughs> i was just checking the window that's all oh <laughs> Did, are you um, a are you a photoreactive sneezer? Sorry, another random topic. Yeah, you are. Totally. I am not. I am not. Really? Wait, what does that mean? Like you see somebody sneeze and you sneeze? No, you no. look at the bright light and you sneeze, oh, like the sun. Oh, photoreactive. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, I, no, I mean I can be for sure, but I think especially in my sensitive times, like allergies. <laughs> Allergy season. Sensitive times. <laughs> in my sensitive time when I'm on my period. And when I've got my month lease. <laughs> um, no. I think it's mostly allergy season. But okay. if I have a sneeze that I need to get out, I could look at a light and probably sneeze, which is such a funny thing. That yeah. is funny. so cute. <laughs> yeah, we are. We are. Uh, okay. So, Becca, let's take it back to apartment days. Oh, my Do- gosh. My apartment days. I was yes. looking back at the video because I use, used it as b-roll the video where you guys came to my apartment and found my spider mites and most of my collection was like syngonium I think I had like 15 not not 15 probably like seven syngonium you, but they were so beautiful I they was yeah. so beautiful and on I was that low key, wicker that wicker shelf yes mm-hmm. I was low-key envious of your syngonium I was like oh why don't mine look like this they were so yeah. pretty until you found all them spider mites you <laughs> well, said maybe never mind they were keeping it they were keeping it keeping them big <laughs> uh, see that's the thing that's so shocking is they were really healthy and they had spider mites so it, I don't know it couldn't have been that developed on each right. individual plant but it was widespread for sure mm-hmm. um yeah it makes me want syngonium when i look back at my old videos and see all of them but then i remember the pain and anguish of the those spider mites but now i know how to take care of spider mites so much better and like i hardly ever get it now knock on wood i made it through thrips you guys i feel like Mm -hmm. i am i am not scared of pests anymore now that i've really overcome the one that i was the most scared of yeah you got this. This isn't to say that I want to pest you guys. Let's not <laughs> yeah. go crazy Ser- here. Seriously, you got to let them know. I know. Because they'll be like, oh, really? Watch oh. this, bitch. Watch this. Yeah. No, um, I... Yeah. Lots of syngonium. I had a lot of cactus outside. Uh, yeah. I feel like my collection really... 
has just deepened. I don't think that it's really changed a lot because I've always had a big variety. I've always liked all the different genuses. Yeah. Um, that is to say, I don't think I've ever had a very genus specific collection. Like Adam is mostly Hoya. Nicole, are you well, mostly Hoya or are you, you're pretty much like my collection as well. Yeah. I th- I feel like I've developed into kind of a variety of sorts, but when I first started, it was a very heavy cactus collection. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember doing a lot of videos on cactus. Yeah. Uh, every time I would go to the store, I'd like leave with a new cactus because that's the only thing I had eyes for. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, now it's definitely a mix of things. I do have quite a bit of Hoya, though. I you counted do. the other day and it was like maybe 20 different varieties. And I'm like, where did these all come from, Adam? <laughs> <I'm> like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which speaking of, I checked on my Hoya from you that I that you sent me Adam they look really good a lot of them have new growth Ooh. and the one that I told you was like I don't know if this is going to come back I think it was the New Guinea yeah the NGG yeah New Guinea Ghost yes New Guinea Ghost which it looks really good now I actually saw it and it is plumped up so it must have put out roots thank okay. god Yay. so I'm really excited I need to do like an update on my channel about it because everybody's been really curious I would um, give them a spray with Captain Jack, though, because even though I did scrub them all down before I sent them to you, after I sent them to you, I did find flat mites on my NGG mama Mm. in some other Hoya that I was like, here we are again. I think I'm just constantly going to have them. I have to be honest. Um, Things are still growing, but I just didn't want to like set your collection ablaze. But I did yeah. scrub everything. I scrub all of things with like a toothbrush, but just maybe, you know, give it a little yeah. treat see. I'm happy to do that. I'm give glad it rehydrated. Spray. Did they so did you it. can see roots in the cups? Yeah. Isn't that Super fun? Super exciting. Day yeah, tanks. It's so fun. The day yeah. tanks. It's so it's just like the best mix ever. Yes. Um but yeah, and I'm at my pottery class. I well not class, but open studio. I went to pottery open studio the other day. Mm-hmm. And I threw three pots that I'm hoping I can plant those Hoya in. Yeah, uh, We'll see. We'll yeah. see how long they take to like fire and I, all of that. I can't wait until you gift me a pot. Mm. Oh my God. My birthday's guys, June 6th. Okay. I know. Okay, well, and calm you know down. What? My birthday's before yours. Okay? <laughs> I know. So <laughs> I desperately want to be the friend who like sends my friends gifts because I make things. It's so easy to just make something and send to people. And I do. I want you guys to know that I have you on my list this year. I'm like very aware of your birthdays. And I'm like, hmm, what can I make for them? That's very sweet. So I don't know if it'll be a pot. I don't know if they'll be ready by then, but I will definitely send you guys a pot because they're so fun to make. But I don't need like a thousand like tiny little pots, you know, so you do, though. You do. You do. Hmm. Look at all those Hoya growing. Even so if true. you just displayed them, what if you made pots to just like display as art pieces, you know, and then mm. you can like grab from your collection when you get a new little babe. So true. Also, would you have ever guessed five years ago when you started collecting houseplants that you'd be throwing your own pottery right now? Absolutely like, not. I think that's so cool. Yeah, and it feels a bit presumptuous to say that because like they didn't look good, but like they looked, they looked they better. They looked good. They looked. Then good. listen, we saw them. If, okay. If I you hadn't, I, I already told you, and I'm not, I'm not <laughs> blowing smoke up your booty hole. I <laughs> would never have known that that pot was made by you because it was that it looked that good amongst mm. the other pots. I was like, wow, impressed. Mm. That is- Becca's a perfectionist too, apparently. I am. Mm. I'm very hard on myself. I, I expect very high of myself, which is annoying. It's annoying. I'm not trying to be like, mm. it's annoying sometimes. <laughs> but the three pots that I threw look a lot better than even the ones that you guys saw. So I'm like, okay, Ooh. even though it's been a, over a year since I last threw pots, the, and the, you know what I mean? I was just like, oh, muscle memory is a thing. It was, it was kind of cool. Yeah, and I didn't hate back. it. Do you guys remember when I was like, I hate pottery. This sucks. Yeah. yeah. I think I was just pregnant. <laughs> yeah. I was just going to say. Because it was fun. <laughs> you know, you're gagging through the whole class. I'd hate yeah. it too. You know? I was smelling everybody's breath. It was hard. Mm-hmm. It yeah, was hard. Yeah. Um, um, 
But anyway, so yeah, I feel like my collection really is similar and I feel so much more confident with like my plants and I don't know, there's just like a comfort that came with many years of collecting where I'm just like, oh, okay, I'll try it, whatever. Like I'm not scared of any plant, I think. You know, I used to have like fears around certain plants, like, oh, I don't want to kill it. Now I think I've killed so many plants that I'm like desensitized to it. I don't really care that much when I do because Mm -hmm. I can just go get another one. But then again, I'm not like buying super rare collectible plants anymore. I just don't. I might be entering that era soon because a a couple people gave me some tips on some finding like dark anthurium. Mm -hmm. So I am kind of craving a challenge. So I might try something like that out soon. But otherwise, I don't know. I feel really comfortable in my collection now. That's a good point because I have a orchid. Okay. And it's it like died back like the flowers died back. And I thought, okay. I'm going to kill this. Jay brought it home. Someone was throwing it away at the studio. So I was like, let me just try it. And like five years ago, Nicole would never touch an orchid. I'd be like, Mm -hmm. no way. I'll just look at it and I'll kill it. But it's growing little buds and I think it's going to bloom again. And I'm so excited about it. I was like, what do I do? Do I dip into like begonia next? Like who Mm -hmm. is she? Oh, I am loving the begonias. So yeah, you should. And they I do well in pond. Also thirsty, though. So uh, thirsty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I have been wanting to try an orchid. I have never in my life had an orchid as a plant. And I was like, I feel like I should, at least at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, the one that Jay brought home from the studio was a bigger one. and had big white blooms on it. And it was intimidating, to say the least. But then my mom got gifted Big one ones from... usually are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to handle. It's a lot. Uh-oh. Don't uh, want to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom was gifted one from me, a stepmom, for her birthday. And it's a little tiny baby orchid. You should start with a baby orchid. And they have them at Trader Joe's. Yeah. Ooh. I might have to go over like to Joe's. Like the miniature ones. Yeah, like the tiny ones. Okay. Wait a minute. Did you say Mia's stepmom gave your mom a birthday? I was stuck on that too. I was like, Jesus Christ, can you guys be any more like perfect? Yeah. Yeah. Like I love that. (laughs) Really cool. Not me growing up having to regulate my parents' relationship and be the one in the middle constantly. Like I was so scared for graduation because I was like, Is this gonna be a fight? As a Hmm. seventeen year old. Anyway, sorry. That sucks. That's I'm, yeah. No, I'm they. She's <laughs> she's very. Um, she's a peacemaker. She's very. She's a gift giver. It's her love language, I think. And she's mm. very. She's very sweet. She gives. She gives me a Christmas present every year, and it's very sweet. Wow. Um, but I think you should start with that. And the flowers. Well, my mom's birthday was February first, and it's still in full bloom like it's lost a couple of flowers but it's fucking beautiful it's the one i brought outside for the eclipse yeah (laughs) for the shadows the the, the moon shadows um okay what else about our past collections do we remember that sticks out in our memory i think one of like the biggest things that sticks out my memory as far as like past to present is just how i've changed i know this isn't like how we've changed things because we've kind of talked about that but like how much pests really impact the way you care for plants. Because Mm. when I see someone with plants stuffed to the brim Mm. on shelves, I have so much anxiety about it. Like my plants, not everything is like perfectly aligned, whatever, but for the most part, nothing's touching unless they really have to Mm. on some spots because of how fast like pests got everywhere, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I used to bottom water that. like everything together. Like in I I bought those like big plastic trays that I would just like fill up with water and just set everything in there. Yeah. And then they're all just like sharing STDs like <laughs> oh. between like root mealies are something yeah. I've been dealing with. And those things crawl out of pots, you know, and since I let my things go dry, they will crawl yeah. out of the pots onto the shelf and then looking for another p- pot dang you've seen them on your shelf oh yeah i have i have microscope video of them like crawling along 
Oh, Ugh. And they, disgusting little creatures. I know they are. They are <laughs> gross. But like, so everything is like separated, um, mm-hmm. and that's something that I never used to do. Everything was just like packed in because that's mm-hmm. a that's a vibe, you know. Like, look mm-hmm. at really look at Bree's plant area. It's a vibe, but like, yeah, I get so much anxiety from it. But actually, now that I'm thinking about it, a lot of her plants aren't physically touching, though. It looks like they are because they're huge, but they're really not. Maybe a few. Yeah. I feel Mm -hmm. like the only area of mine that's like that, because five years ago, me was for sure crowding my shelf. Well, I had limited space to begin with. Like, I didn't have my Ikea Vitsco shelves that I do now. So it was just like wherever I could put a plant, (laughs) it would go, you know. Mm -hmm. But right now I feel like my cactus, my little cactus nooks are pretty crowded. The plants themselves are not touching, but the pots are definitely touching. So like if there's an outbreak of scale or something, it is what it is. Um, But I really like that vibe, especially with desert scape, you know, where they're just like, oh, there's they're like each other's chili. Yeah. Yeah. It is such a vibe. There is a way and I'm sure that Brie has done this where you can just like um stack the plants in a way that like the leaves look like they're touching but they're not they're like barely yeah. that's kind of what i did back here on my bench here it's mm-hmm. like you just figure out ways to put them like i put my plants in a zigzag and mm-hmm. so they look close but they're not touching they're just the leaves are just barely passing over each other right. and it you still get that packed look but i don't know those are just things that you learn as you go and like mm-hmm. you're not going to know that when you first start and Mm-hmm. It's just, I don't know, it's just cool to think about the early days when we were just, I was thinking about the nostalgia of the the feeling of like going to the garden center and being like, ooh, I'm looking for a Hoya Carnosa. And it's just like the most basic plant, but you're like, I heard about it online and I'm going to go find it. And then you do. Yeah. And, and back then it was like 50 bucks and you're like, ooh, wishless plant. I don't know. There's <laughs> yeah. just like such a sweet sense of like naive naive what is that word naivete yeah naivete yes. um and, and like and not in a bad way but it's just like you're mm-hmm. new and it's all fresh and fun and you're like mixing your soil and i don't oh know i just gosh. yeah what a what a time what a feeling i felt like that i went to home depot the other day i forget what i was looking for and I went to the plant section and like I got that like it took me back there I was like Mm -hmm. man I used to hop around to big box stores and just like look for steals all the time and I walked into the plant section talk about crowded I mean they're all just on one big pallet yeah just they're hugging each other they Mm -hmm. all look like shit okay (laughs) they all have these like not my big box store Oh, well, my Home Depot needs to get their fucking shit together. And, yeah, you know, I'm going to write to the owner. It's probably the Um, cicadas. It's probably the cicadas. (laughs) People. Honestly. Cicadas that are disguising themselves as employees. (laughs) (laughs) That's going to be Nicole's nightmare every time. (laughs) She's going to go tap someone on her shoulder and ask a question. They turn around. It's just a cicada face. (laughs) (laughs) That's scary. (laughs) <laughs> that's really scary actually <laughs> the thing is like when you're like early early the box stores is probably one of the first places you're introduced to plants though yeah mm-hmm. and like i feel like your experience will really be determined on the box store and like if there's someone working there who really cares about plants yeah. you know because yeah. i feel like my box stores they have really nice plant selections but And I only have two, but in Tucson, (laughs) when there was like 50, I always knew the ones to go to that were good. And it's Mm -hmm. just interesting, like the inconsistencies in the corporate world and houseplants. It's very true. Yeah. Very true. Oh, what a time to be alive. I used to, I kind of, sometimes don't you wish you could uh, have those feelings back? Yeah. Yeah, I really do. It was such a joy to like pull into the parking lot of like even just walmart lowe's home depot and just be like oh i'm gonna go look at the plants Mm -hmm. and then you just get jaded don't you still kind of get that though okay i I do when i saw those those um calathea and stuff and water the maranta and water at lowe's i was like oh that's so cute like i was Mm -hmm. like kind of all excited again Mm -hmm. i did feel like that until until i knew 
walking in like, oh yeah, they don't give a shit. Like they're just all sopping wet. They're just not good. Like you could just tell that they're not being taken care of. And it's almost like I know what to look for now. I'm like, oh, they def this definitely has spider mites. Oh, you know, this one is going to have root rot because it's fucking dripping wet, you know? Mm-hmm. But, um, so that kind of takes away from the, from the fun of it because it's like, I was oblivious back then and it was like, oh my God, they're all so pretty, but mm-hmm. they really weren't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I need to Again, check out my lows. Na- naive. I yeah. need to check out my lows. I think my, I think lows is a little bit more well kept. Lowe's for me is generally better for the house plants. Home Depot is so hit or miss. That's the one that's truly hit or miss for me every time. Yeah. Our yeah. Home Depot has really good like annuals and perennials and stuff like that, but house plants no. Yeah. They last year or maybe 2 years ago, I don't remember, our Home Depot put house plants in like full sun and they looked horrible. Oh, and I was no. like, "What the fuck? Who did this?" This is an employee that didn't know, obviously. So I can't like, I'm not trying to, you know, whatever. But I was just like, in what world? Yeah. (laughs) But uh, they're just getting their check. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Well, guys, that was a fun little trip down memory lane. We want to hear from you guys because I'm sure there's some of you listening who have been collecting plants well longer than we've all been collecting plants collectively, probably. No pun intended. Um, but let us know in the comments section of today's post over on Instagram at Potted Together. And then, you know, we have a Patreon where we record once a week and once a month. And maybe you'll catch video on our monthly Patreon. Who knows? <laughs> Go check it out. We'll test it. We'll test the waters. Yeah. yeah so we'll see you next week, guys. Bye. Bye. Primary election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Now is the time to make a plan. Whether you plan to vote absentee by mail, in person at your county auditor's office before election day, or at your polling place on June 4th, it's important you take steps now to make your plan at voterready.iowa.gov. Remember, election day is Tuesday, June 4th. Find more info at voterready.iowa.gov. This message is presented by the Iowa Secretary of State.